Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Volatility Report. It is I, Andrew Giovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com. <laughs> um, uh, it is the 30th of December. Uh, again, check out our morning blog. Check out our store if you want to pick anything up before the end of the year. <clears throat> or send me a note at Andrew at OptionPit.com. Uh, again, we're trying to get a little, uh, we'll sell a little inventory here for 2015. So platinum, gold, anything, <coughs> Andrew at OptionPit.com. And uh, we're in a wheeling and dealing mood here with a couple days to go. All right. And with that, um, let's just see a couple of trends here. Uh, I think it got kind of the same thing. We got the market down a little bit, and we have, up oh, surprise, you know, USO oil crew down a little bit as well. Um, I am looking at our can can a stock like Amazon make it to 700 by the end of the year? Doesn't look like it's going to do it today. Possible. Uh, is it, if anybody's taking some profits in some of these, you know, Amazon a massive run up 100% this year, I believe. But I do believe in the law of big numbers or even numbers. And the one year is, I think we are, yep, 300 to 700. So it's more than 100%. <laughs> uh, if you look at Facebook, probably similar. All these stocks have done uh, enormously well. Oh, there we go. Uh, again, in the 70s. So a good return, not as good as Amazon. Uh, even though Facebook's uh, profit growth probably, I think, was uh, was quite a bit better. But either way, Apple flat for the year, and obviously Netflix had another good year. So those stocks drove a lot of the valuation growth. Obviously, they can still go up next year, but, man, are, is Amazon going to double again? Eh, that's going to be a tough one. Um, I, you can see some growth in Facebook. Google, obviously, is still growing gangbusters. So there's some room there, but... <coughs> You would think there would have to be some sort of change of the guard to some degree. Uh, retailers still are kind of in the bottom of the basement. Uh, and obviously commodities and oil are still, you know, hovering right around the lows. There hasn't been really much of a bounce in any of that stuff. So gold, right? So as we look at the end of the year, I think one of the, one of the stories is just seeing, uh, where these things go, where bonds go. Uh, the Fed is pretty much telegraph rates. And the funny thing is, is you've seen a little pickup in implied volatility, uh, but there's still quite a bit of realized vol in here, meaning every time there is a scare with uh, the high yield market, you know, treasuries start to rally again. So there's a lot more volatility, I feel, than there should be in this. And I think that's part of, and I still think that's part of the reason why VIX is still around 17, even with uh, the day off that we're going to have. So uh, it's kind of a curious mix. Right? So one of the things we were talking about uh, early in the week is, you know, 14 probably is the new 10 for volatility in this kind of the post QE era. Uh, because we had that sort of sustained, the rates, the Fed's going to do all this stuff with rates. Now they get let rates, everything's going to kind of fly. And that might take the floor off, take the floor and volatility up a little bit. So that changes uh, a lot how you trade products like, you know, VXX uh, and UVXY. Um, that being said, I think the market will be prone to like the spiky, spiky sell-offs. But ultimately, unless there's a real, a real, real credit crisis, you know, it shouldn't sell off too much. But um, I think the the deeper downsides that we, you know, we were seeing this lower level at the beginning of the year, it's going to be tough to get back there. Okay. So, um, but if the market doesn't go anywhere and volatility stays here, uh, that has other implications for us, uh, for the vault products as well. And we'll look at that in our, as we do every day in, the, in our chat room for a little while this morning. But I don't expect stocks to do too much. Uh, I am curious about Amazon trying to make a run to 700 just to print there. So uh, we'll take a look at a couple trades for that. 
And with that, you know, I'm expecting a quiet day. Uh, currencies aren't doing too much. Um, and it seems like everyday oil rallies, the rest of the market rallies. So, um, and that movie has not changed one bit. All right, everybody, you all have a good day, and I will talk to you later.